This is the one. This is the one. This might be one of the best clips in recent history. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with the title of this clip? Of this post? Rinks has definitely been in Chang's recently. Did this did his utmost to bait Brennan into another celebrity lie. So what do you think is the deal here? Do we think Brian Callen has been perusing the Fire and the Kids subreddit and has seen all the memes and the trolls about Brendan basically saying he knows all the celebrities? Every celebrity that they talk about, somehow that celebrity is a big fan of Brendan, said they're a fan, said they want him to train him, said that they like his comedy, they want to hang out for every reason. And I guess Brian kind of, you know, played him a little bit here. Um, this is a fucking brilliant clip. Let's see this. I'm not sure if I believe he's been on Fire and the Kid to look at these type of things, but he probably has heard somebody DM him probably. I don't think he comes around. You know, you know the other Kardashians yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he comes around to the family <laughs> function. He doesn't like what they're about. Hmm. Good for him. That's how he feels. Doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, that's all. That's a, that's stress pounds, mate. Do you know? Have you have you met Kanye? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> what about him, dude? Have you talked to him, spent time mm -hmm. with him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows who you are? I doubt it. Probably just a white boy with a face. Right? Or he might. <laughs> I'm not Jewish, so he talks to me. <laughs> oh. True. What else you got, Jen? Honestly, look at the face. I think he knew. He knew what he was doing. I think Brendan realized it too. I really wanted Callan to go down a list of names and just start naming random people. Have you ever met Bradley Cooper? Do you know, have you bumped into Brad Pitt before? Have you ever met uh, Tom Cruise? Have you met Samuel Jackson? <laughs> like, I would wish, I really want him to go down the list. Have you met Kevin Hart before? Do you know Kevin Hart? Eddie Murphy? <laughs> Tiffany Haddish? Lizzo? I don't know. Name, just start going down the list. I really want him to do that. I swear to God. But again, this clip is another illustration of why I think Brendan is a quintessential pathological liar because even when he's invited to tell the truth and it's quite clearly a goad quite clearly a bit of a trap he just can't help himself to say yeah i know him yeah i've met that guy before yeah we're good friends he can't help it that for me is a sign of somebody that's a pathological fucking liar just instead of a regular person be like no nah, not really to be honest um or the, or you might like do a bit of a humble brag where you say Oh, actually, no, I remember this one time I was at in and out and I think Courtney was there. She just had left and I saw that one of their cars pulling out of the driveway or something. You might say one of those kind of stories where it places you in the proximity of a celebrity, but you you kind of you kind of uh, make yourself take you kind of put yourself in the backseat of the story by saying, oh, you know, you kind of play it down a bit by saying you only saw them leaving. And they were in their car when you were pulling up and you only noticed it when you saw everybody kind of giggling outside, all those little girls outside, you know, screaming and shit. That might be a way to kind of tell a story, but nah, he likes us to be like, no, nah, I know her. We've exchanged numbers. She DM me. She asked me for advice on fucking makeup and lip injections. I don't know. It's absolutely wild. Like Brian, Brendan saying he fucking has met Kanye <laughs> one more time do you know Kanye West regular people when someone says that to them they'll be like nah of course not Kanye fucking West why would I know Kanye like it kind of be a bit of an insult like why would you think I know Kanye like it'd be fucking ridiculous but like I said before like specifically to the guys in the chat please let me know if this is true and I'm not the only one that has this experience aside from my friend John who I said is a liar but in uni or when I got my first job around those sort of ages, we all have met guys in our life where you go out to a club or you go out to a bar, maybe to go pick up girls, maybe to go hang out and chill out. And maybe there's a guy in a group who plays the role of like, I'm the guy that gets the girl's numbers, right? Cool. Sometimes there's a guy in your group who you see him going to talk to the girl. You see the interaction from afar. And from your eyes, you can tell it didn't go well. But they come back to the group and be like, yeah, man, she's all over, man. Yeah, man, she's fucking bugging me for my number. But I'm like, nah, man, I'm not really on that, right? Yeah, man, she, she went to fucking suck my dick in the toilet. But I said, nah, I've got church tomorrow. Those type of guys. You saw with your own eyes from afar in the bar, in the pub. That didn't go too well. She wasn't looking at him. She kept shaking her head. Her lips weren't moving. You could tell it didn't go well. But he comes back to the group and says, yeah, man, she's all over me, man. She's so thirsty. I think Brendan is that kind of guy. 
<laughs> he must have been those type of dudes. He got, he's, he's done the good thing by going to talk. He's done the courageous thing. He's got the courage to go and talk to the girl. But then he always lies about what they said. He always, he's always exaggerates, always fucking adds spice or salt to the fucking shit. That's who I think this guy is. He's definitely that kind of guy. Let's play the clip again. You know, you know the other Kardashians yep. a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he comes around to the family functions. He doesn't <laughs> like what they're about. Hmm. Good for him. That's how he feels. Doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, that's all. That's that's stress pounds, but Can you believe? Do you know? Have you have you met Kanye? <clears throat> yes. What about him, dude? Have you talked to him? Spent time mm -hmm. with him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows who you are. I doubt it. Probably just a white boy with a face, man. Or he might. <laughs> face. Mm -hmm. I'm not Jewish, so he talks to me. <laughs> oh. What else you got, Jen? That was a one moment of humility where he said, you know, he was offered, hey, do you know him? Does he know who you are? And he said, do you know? Nah, he doesn't. I thought he was even going to go that far and say, yeah, he, he want me to train him. <laughs> Will Smith wanted, to tra wanted him to train him for fucking iRobot or Ali, which were all movies that were done before or after fucking Brendan Schub's fucking UFC career. You, I don't know. Kanye doesn't fight anyone apart from Jews, really, for the most part, and maybe, you know, Kim Kardashian, but really, like, you know, I don't know. Like, excuse me? Honestly, man. Big up Austin Casey. Appreciate Some you. Some P.F. Chang's chef should make a compilation of all the times Brenda celeb stories. Now, I wanna, I'm want i going to make a video. Big up, Austin Casey. Appreciate you. I'll keep saying this, but I'm going to make an actual video where I edit clips and shit and try and make it fun, where I go through the top 10 best and what or the top 10 best lies of brendan Schwab, because i think i can find some other ones because I, I think the celebrity ones are obvious they're obviously lies but i want to find some some ones that are clearly lies that aren't too obvious you know like like or they're not too like glitzy like him lying about i don't know about the bench press type of shit right where it's like why would you lie about the bench press like yeah i did uh probably four months ago 315 12 times 12 yeah 315 12 times yeah I DRD heard. did it 12 times. Yeah. <laughs> you did it 12 times. Yeah, I did 225.40. I heard it's a No small, shit. Yeah. I heard Yo, it's a small yeah, percentage. What's up, okay. Come on, bro. Come on, yeah. man. You ain't see you buff days, dog. That's why you piss in a cup. I'll melt it, bro. You don't miss bench day at the combine. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, Can you do 315? 315? Yeah, probably a few times, but that's it. Not 12, huh? No. Maybe two. You think he's lying? No, no. I've seen I, his... I, I post it too. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say I've seen his video. I'll post like, it too. Fucking... Yeah, I deadlift six hundred. <laughs> yeah, most blew my asshole out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do that again. Yeah, I think he. I think I even got mistaken. The the if I'm not mistaken, the NFL bench press. I think the standard is like two hundred and twenty pounds or something, right? And he actually did thirteen, which I think is still good. I think obviously if you're an athlete, it's not great, but for the regular person, regular civilian walking down the street, you're still in the top 5% of fucking strength, right? In percentile, whatever it may be, right? To be able to do fucking 221 pounds on the bench press fucking 13 times without a break. That's still great. Unbroken 13 times. But the actual truth of it, someone clarified to me in the comments, he didn't say he did 20. I, I got mistaken. He lied and said he did 40. He didn't lie and say he did 20, which is, you know, a couple more than 13. He said he did 40 <laughs> unbroken, which would make him one of the strongest men ever to walk the face of the earth. <laughs> He'd be one of the strongest men in history ever. And somehow he never made it in the NFL because of what politics and, you know, like what he was discriminated against because he was white or something. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know those type, those type of lies I want to highlight. So I want to, I swear to God, I'm going to promise myself to do it one day. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to go through back the back fucking channels of Reddit. I'm going to check old videos. I have to find all those type of lies because this guy is incredible. Incredible. I also want to do the lies like this, like the shoe lies, because I know he kind of lies and says he has a sneaker guy. Uh, he sneaker guys fucking Shenzhen factories. These are all reps. I know they are. I'm 100% these are all reps. So I want to see those kind of lies. Like he's going to lie and say, I've got a sneaker guy on Instagram. No, you don't. You buy your shoes from China. Like, let's 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 let's, let's call a spade a spade. I'm going to find all that shit out and put it on the list because this is too much, man. <laughs> Bro. Like, think about this, right? 
again, I'm I'm trying to put my face my my my, my feet in the in in the place of a fucking liar. It could probably be more. It's more believable that Brendan knows a Kardashian than a than Kanye. You could actually make that make sense because Brendan worked for a very short time at E, right? And I'm sure keeping the Kardashians was on E before. Now I think it's on Hulu or I don't know where it's on somewhere else. But he could, you could lie if you're Brendan, and it could be somewhat believable that you know the Kardashians because of the time you worked at E, because you live in LA and you're just around all the fucking bait spots. That makes sense. But Kanye is a known recluse he hangs around us i mean like he's not everywhere like he's in flo like, even back then when he wasn't you know quote-unquote cancelled and shit he still was with a certain type of people he's not going to be when will he ever bump into brendan brenda doesn't play basketball he doesn't go to fucking hip-hop shows he doesn't he's not on the breakfast club and shit i mean like where where would they bump into each other if he actually lied and said hey i know Courtney kardashian I know fucking um, Khloe Kardashian. I know Kendall. I know Kylie Jenner. Like, that would make more sense. You can actually believe that. But lying about fucking Kanye. <laughs> because even the Drake thing, if I'm not mistaken, he's got a picture with Drake, right? That picture he's got with Drake, if I'm not mistaken, that was when Connor fought Floyd, right? Probably. That picture that Brenda's got with Drake. That's believable because Drake goes to fights. He likes fights. I think, yeah, he was at that fight, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was back in Connor, right? He was. A, I think that might be the, one of the places where the whole Drake curse maybe started. But Kanye, when is he ever going to see Kanye? I just can't understand, man. That's a fucking incredible lie. Brendan Schaub is like, oh, I love this guy. He's a best. And this is better than anything. I don't care. This is better than Love Island. This guy's fucking incredible. I love this shit. What an incredible lie. What are you guys saying in the chat here? Um, the fish tank series is just absurd. Exactly. I just remembered his Rick Ross. Oh my god. Oh my god, Uche. Oh my fucking god. Uche, don't do this to me. See, I need to make this video. I need to make this video. Uche, please don't do this to me. The Rick Ross lie about the fish tank. That's fucking Spanish rape kiss level. <laughs> that fish tank story is crazy. Because if I'm not mistaken. The story starts off with Rick Ross DMing Brendan. Don't forget that bit. Uh, update on the fish. My addiction has gotten worse. <laughs> Rick Ross texts me because the I was talking about. Uh, yeah, how crazy is that? I can't believe that. Just that's twenty twenty three for you. Rick Ross DM me. Sorry, I didn't text. DM me and has this. And uh, I was talking about fish tanks. I'm ballsy with fish tanks. And uh, we posted about it. He must have saw it because he DM me. He just installed a $700,000 fish tank. I don't even know what that looks like. I just responded, yeah, but do you have a blue lobster with sunglasses on? Didn't DM back. <laughs> Didn't DM back. I ruined that relationship. So imagine how crazy he is to lie about that. Rick Ross reached out to him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking love it. Rick Ross DM Brendan and said, I'm sorry, it's too late. I can't love too loud. It's too late. Oh, shit. Rick Ross. Rick Ross in between throwing car shows and trolling 50 Cent and living his best life at his massive mansion, he DM Brendan. <laughs> to ask him advice on fucking fish yeah all right cool man Assad says would have been in the nfl but my son had <laughs> would have been in the nfl but my son had baseball practice yo i had to go look after the chombies <laughs> go home and look after the kiddo <laughs> uh, sorry <laughs> sorry what's his name what's his name um What's his name? Patrick Mahomes. Sorry, Patrick Mahomes. I can't play with you this season. <laughs> Gotta look after the kiddos. <laughs> Sorry, uh, who's the guy? Who's the, who's the manager of the Bill? Who's the manager of the Giants? The grumpy guy. Who's that guy? <clears throat> Looks all grumpy. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't, you know, <laughs> I can't play under you this time. <laughs> I gotta go run off to the Chompies. Oh, bigger fashion road, man. That's hilarious. Would have been in the NFL if I told my, if I didn't turn my ACL. That's the thing, though. Let's give Brendan credit. Brendan isn't that level of a liar. He's not that basic. He's not going to say, oh, I would have been in the Prem if I was didn't break my knee and shit. No, he's not that level of a liar. He's a bit more sophisticated. 
So if you hear him talk about the NFL, it's like a systemic thing. They were very anti-white. He was grew up in a black neighborhood. Um, <laughs> the fucking, um, he was always like, there was a conspiracy not to pick him, even though he smashed the, what do you say? The, the, the pro day or something. He got some of the best marks on it. It's not as easy as just saying I'm injured or I, if I did have an injury, I would have been pro. He's way more sophisticated. He has a bit more layers to it. Like, you know, again, like it was an anti-white agenda. You know what I mean? <laughs> they didn't want a white guy to win and succeed at NFL because I don't know. <laughs> the NFL is one big reparations league, isn't it? <laughs> it's for blacks only. <laughs> The NFL was basically like the Raiders back in the day. <laughs> the NFL is basically BLM. That's what the NFL is. The NFL is BLM and Brendan is fucking Nick Fuentes. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> oh my God, my chest. I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying, man. Um... <laughs> last clip because this one fucking made me laugh i watched this actually before and this one legitimately made me fucking laugh this is great it says rinks left speechless trying to interpret what the fuck brenda is saying this is a good one <laughs> can you guys figure out what brendan's saying here because this is a really good clip this is fucking brilliant what do you guys think brendan's saying here <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. Uh, so it said Washington Insider Obama, member of Chicago Gay Man's Club. Now, <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's listen one more time, all the way through. Uh, so it said Washington Insider Obama, member of Chicago Gay Man's Club. Now, now, uh, Wayne. So it said in two thousand or May 20, 2007, 2010, Washington, D.C. based investigative journalist. <laughs> scratching his head brian's scratching his head oi 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 sorry i'm breathing i'm i'm gonna die you know what this reminds i know again maybe you guys don't know this right but i think i know it's because of i grew up in a household where when we came to this country my mom couldn't speak english and then she learned over time but if you guys are you know lived in the house you know uh, from an immigrant family or whatever it may be yeah so if you're not if, if you've not been in an immigrant family you know where sorry if you've been in an immigrant family please you must know if you've been in an immigrant family have you ever been in a family where a foreign person right the person's foreign but they speak english really fast have you ever been to that <laughs> i legitimately think i legitimately think brenda does the same thing he's redacted and he can't speak properly he has that mush mouth thing but he's he reads really quickly which doesn't make any sense because like you know if you know you've got a bit of a speech impediment you've got cte you can't pronounce things properly why would you speak so quickly why not just like slow down your speech enunciate your words and then say what you want that way right but no he speaks super 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 fast even though he can't speak properly. Let's play it one more time, because this is fucking incredible. Uh, so is that Washington Insider Obama, member of Chicago Gay Man's Club? Now, now, uh, Wayne... So it's uh, in 2000, or May 20, 2017, 2010, Washington, D.C.-based investigative journalist... <laughs> Actually, what did he say? Is it here? Chicago Insider Obama, member of Chicago... Okay, cool. To, to be fair to him... The headline is a bit hard to compute. Obama member of Chicago Gay Men's Club. 